Hey guys, Luke here with Average Coyote. Today we're going to go over something. Um, right here I've got the Kuyu Mountain Star 2P tent. I kind of just wanted to go over it with you, go over setup with you, kind of show you a little bit about it. Um, first thing, guys, when you're opening it, this is actually the footprint that came with it. It's an extra piece you can get um, in the event that extra hard, cold, wet ground if you wanted to put just an extra layer of protection. Um, so, first thing guys, unroll this, and the first thing you want to do is figure out which side that the wind is coming from, and make sure on this guys, it's actually wider on one end than it is the other, and the wider end is going to go towards the windward side. Once you get it kind of spread out, inside this smaller bag is the tent stakes. They're super, super lightweight, but you want to stake this tent down, stretch it out on these little strings, guys. There's a little loop. Take the tent, take the stake through it, and it actually sits right in these two little creases. And just stake it down. Don't worry about it being super tight right off the get-go, just so the wind won't blow it away. Same thing on this side over here. Height. Take it down. Do the same thing on these two corners over here. It just slides through there, goes in those little grooves. Pull it tight. Take it down. on you when you're going to put this together. Now, when you open up the actual poles for the frame of this, there's two different options you can get. You can actually get carbon or aluminum. I went with the carbon just to save on just a little bit of weight. Um, I plan on doing using this on some backpack hunts where weight is going to be a big factor. So I went ahead to get the lighter weight one. So it actually has these tabs down here on, si on the side of the tent. They are red and white here. And then the top one for the top support is blue. So when you're going to put these in, red goes to red, white goes to white, and they just in the order you put them in is just red, white, and blue. It makes it easy to remember sliding everything in. So when you start sliding this over, just ease this through. through put that one through take your other stake it's, the red and white ones are the two longer ones guys these are actually going to be the main supports of your tent and then the shorter one is to go from blue to blue so on this one since I did the red on that one this one I'm going to come through I'm going white on this one Take this one through, sliding it all the way through. Now they have the same things, guys, on where they have their red and white tabs here. They have them on the corners of the tent here. Like this corner is red, this corner is white. Red is over here on this side, white is over here on that side. So you just want to make sure that you take them to the correct side that you want to do. This little piece here, guys, is going to go through this little grommet down here on the bottom. Take it through on that side. Come over here. Find the one that went through the red slot again. Make sure you straighten all the wrinkles out on this. And the same thing here is, guys, make sure that it's going to the red again. Now... We're going to do the same thing with the white. Make sure you find the one that's going through the white here. And come down here, match it up to the white on the bottom. See, I've got white here and white on bottom. Come to this other side here. 
Make sure you get all the wrinkles out of that. So it's sliding good. There, there. And I'm going to take the white back to that one there. Okay, you got to make sure everything is wrinkles are out as tight. You want to make sure there's not a huge giant bow on these frame, on the frame part of it. And on all four of these sides, guys, there's two clips per pole. And they clip on super easy. They just snap right over top of it just to secure the tent to the actual frame on all four sides. And once you've got all four of those done, then you're gonna come grab that other short pole. Just three little pieces here. This is your short one that's going to come across the top here guys you can see the tab the blue tabs up here on the top the short one is going to slide right through this center hole here and slides all the way across the top you're going to put it in the grommets just like we did on the bottom on the red and white ones but this is going blue to blue here just like that so the main part of the tent is actually set up now. So now, what you can do is take two stakes, and you've got this vestibule on this side here. It goes in just like those stakes did on the corner. Slide it through the, the loop. It lines up in those grooves. Pull the, pull the tension that you want on it, and stake it down. You're gonna do that on both sides. And that actually is entire setup of the tent itself and you stake that down now you can go through and tighten all the actual stakes up if you've got super windy conditions this is where they recommend getting some big rocks or something and setting them on top of it I don't really have those conditions right now windy conditions oh, and I'll have the camera zoom in right up here on these these are your guy wires here best way to do this is to keep tension from the stitching here is to take it and actually wrap it one loop around the actual pole itself on here on these guys there's going to be a loop made down here on the bottom these are going to go the exact same thing the stake goes through that, lines up in those grooves, and you want to get the angle on this, guys. The angle you want to get, you're trying to get as much geometry on this as possible because you're wanting it to pull tension when the wind blows. And then to tighten these up, guys, it's a super simple process. It's literally just pulling down on them to get tension. You don't have to worry about it too much when you do the first one. Like I said, it's just putting the loop through, getting the right angle that you want on it putting it down, grabbing the, the free end, and just pulling tight right there. Actually, on this one, actually, same thing here, guys. I forgot to do that little loop right there. Do the one loop around it. Take the stake, do the loop, and then this free end here, guys, is just pulling, just pulling tension on it. Don't pull it super tight until you get all four of them down. There's two on each side. And you're doing the same thing on both sides. Whenever you go to do this, taking it, making one loop around the actual blade itself. Taking your the loop, taking it your grooves, taking it down, and pulling your tension on that string just to get it tight. You can do the same thing here on this one. Got just a little knot here real quick. Get this untied for you here. Same thing, one loop wrapping around. Again, guys, this is just to keep the tension off the stitching from the actual tent. So the pressure is actually going on the aluminum or carbon fiber pole, whichever one you decided to do the angle you want, put that down in there, put, pull the 
tension that you want on these. Now, I always pull tension on it and then I stake it down just a little bit on all four corners. Guys, after every night, depending on how windy it was, you may actually have to go through and tension these up just a little bit more. So when you first hook it up, don't have right here this lug. Don't have it bottomed out all the way down here to the bottom. Have, make sure there's still a little bit of room there so you have room to play with it whenever you are setting this up. Again, guys, I do have the footprint in the event that I need it. It just goes underneath the tent and actually stays out with the four corners of the main body of the tent. So whenever you put the footprint down, put the tent on top of it, and the stakes for each corner of those goes through the footprint and the tent loops on those strings at the same time. Here we've got this vestibule, and there's one of these on both sides. There is a little buckle snap down here to hold it together. You can actually roll this up if you don't have any weather going on. Just roll this up out of the way. There's a on this side and one on the other side of the tent. Guys, they did this so that when you've got two people sleeping in here, if somebody has to get out in the middle of the night, the guy sleeping on this side doesn't have to crawl over top of the other guy getting out. So, there's two ways that this is for both directions. This is the mesh netting on the inside of the tent here, guys. This is actually completely removable. It detaches down here with just quick buckles. So if you're wanting to go, if you're going like on a sheep hunt or anything like that in August and it's super hot outside, or there's not a lot of bugs or something that you're not going to have to worry about, guys, removing this would, would save you some weight. Um, I'm going to climb in here real quick and I'm going to have her follow with the camera in here. Room inside of here. This netting, guys, does the same thing that that vestibule does. It rolls up out of the way and just hooks to itself up here, just so you don't, so you can keep it out of the way. Just for climbing in and out when you're first setting it up. Like I said, if you don't have a lot of bugs or something like that, and you don't need it, you can leave it rolled up. Guys, I'm five foot eleven, about two hundred and fifty pounds. I'm in this tent right now, laying on this side. As you can see, there's not a ton of room in here, but as most people know, a two-person tent is made for two guys shoulder to shoulder. It's, it's tight, but that's why they made the vestibule so that you have the gear storage to keep the water out. I actually set this up in the rain the other day, just testing it out, and I had some stuff sitting out underneath the vestibule to make sure it stayed dry. Uh, everything stayed dry, tent inside stayed dry. Um, Inside this tent though guys, because each one of these corners right here has a little mesh pocket and there's one on all four corners for gear storage. Up top inside here guys, there's a string that goes all the way around it. If you got to hang gloves, hang socks, anything like that, it does that. They actually make a gear loft um, that I have that'll go there for gear storage. It, it just hooks in through these little loops up top here and sits basically the same size as this little square of string that's where it sits for gear storage um and then on the interior guys on hot days it has vents on both sides here that you can actually undo the velcro and pop this little bar out from the interior here and i'm going to take the camera just to make it so you can see a little bit better there this little vent pops out so you can see and i'm going to have or take the camera around to kind of show you what it looks like on from the outside there so you can pop it out from the outside or the inside it's actually right here where my if you can see where my hand is here there's just this little bar right here that holds it open so if it's hot it actually helps with condensation um, or if it's super cold you don't want to do it that little bar pops back out it velcros back you zip it back up no big deal um, guys this tin is really lightweight um, it does not weigh a lot at all. I'm just gonna. The other night it was about 35 degrees and blowing about 20 mile an hour. I was kind of just testing this out. How it held up in the wind. It did a fairly good job. I did have to tighten the guy wires up a little bit 
um, but nothing crazy didn't blow away on me. Uh, I've got a pretty wide open yard right here that I sat in, so the wind coming across was pretty, pretty significant. Um, but like I said, guys, I don't know if you can tell from this, from here. This end down here is narrower than that end down there. And it's made because obviously you are wider at the shoulders than you are the feet. So it's made for two guys to sleep shoulder to shoulder in this. So when you get in there and there's two guys, there's not a whole lot of room. But like I said, this is what the vestibules are for. In the rain, I tested them out. All Everything I kept underneath here stayed dry. Like I said, this just, it, it just zips up there. Got two little Velcros and it actually, like I said, it has this little buckle down here just as an extra reinforcement in case zippers decide to start sliding up at night. Um, you can see guys, this is not very tall. It's not made to be moving around a whole lot in. Um, this is gonna be your backcountry, backpacking, lightweight hunt. This is a three season tent. Uh, they do make a four season one, but this is the three season tent. It's a little more lightweight. Um, all over this tent right here one here one here it has one right here coming off the guy that way if you're setting this up at night your headlamp shines across these and you can see it or if you're not getting back to camp until late at night when you start so you know you're getting close back to camp you can actually see where your tent is um, this is the tent completely set up guys so but hey that's all i got for you this time guys uh, if you like what you saw here hey hit that like button um any questions or anything like that hey hit it up in the comments here again guys if you want to see more videos like this um in the future hey hit that subscribe button um and i hope to see you next time see ya if you like what you saw hit that like button and if you want to see some more videos subscribe